All right, so uh, we are at Famalab today, and um, basically what I'm working on, or what I'm going to be working on, is I have an old, it's probably loud, I have an old computer chair. Uh, it's not even that old, it's a couple years old, uh, but it was a, like a cheap Amazon off-brand, and it lasted me for a few years, but eventually I leaned back one day and almost fell on my head because it broke so I'll show you this is where it broke this little bracket was welded on here and you can see they use a little tube for a spacer um, it was also welded on over here and then welded on there as well so this is what it technically should look like all welded together um, so, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be fixing this and adding a little bit of extra welds to the other ones uh, just to make sure it holds up to my weight because I'm not a skinny guy. So, um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I'm really going to be doing now. So, uh, I just got to get set up. What we got over here is, let's see if we can get some lights on. I'm not plugged in. Might not be plugged in. Okay, not plugged in. Anyway. There's our welder. I don't know why these lights are unplugged. Anywho. Here we go. Try that again. So here's our nice welding table, one of them. We also have uh, this that could be used as a welding table as well, but I'm going to be using this one because it's nice and new and fancy, thanks to one of our members for bringing it in. And I'm going to have to open the door so we get some ventilation. And yeah, so I'm just going to get set up here in a few minutes and get started. So I broke my stand for my camera, so it's going to be hard to show you, but first thing I want to do is clean up the weld area. I'm hoping not to have to break that weld. Um, when I when I go to bend this down, I'm going to put a clamp on it, uh, but it already doesn't look very healthy, if you can see or not. Uh, it's not focusing. But yeah, so um, we'll see. But first things first, I got to clean that up. here. Nope, nope, that's not going to work. Alright, so this doesn't have to be high precision, obviously, but the fact that that doesn't line up with, that's a decent way off, honestly, kind of makes me wonder. Yeah, see, like, that's, I feel like this all needs to bend in some as well. I 
I guess maybe this just needs to bend in though. I was thinking the whole thing needed to move in, but it might not be right because it kind of looks like it's straight across and uh, kind of, it's a little off. I'm going to tap it with the hammer a little bit. I'm avoiding, trying to avoid tapping with the hammer though too much because I don't want it to uh, explode the other weld. Let's try it. How can I do that? I think I'm going to set a couple welds here first. I think that's my... If I just tack it at least, if I at least tack it there, I think that's going to help me a lot. I try not to get weld stuff on these guys because my welding isn't the greatest but we'll see all right so I set the welder to um, 20 gauge even though uh, this is a little bit thicker but I think this stuff is thin no that stuff looks pretty thick might be pretty thick as well but I really don't want to blow through it, so I'm going to try that first, and then kind of go from there. Hopefully, hopefully this works. We'll see. And of course, it just started raining, so I'm going to open this for air. And hopefully not get everything wet. So also technically I should be putting up um, a shielding uh, to block things that you know it doesn't hit people's eyes but I'm going to actually have a weld on this side and nobody's here today so that way hopefully I will be blocking this side and then that way anybody out there is looking might not you know have a problem and then hopefully nobody comes in but ideally yes we should put up a shield uh, or a curtain um, that's something I think we still got to put together so I'll be working on that so I just put a quick tack in there Looks like it might have okay penetration. I don't know. I think I'm going to turn the power up just a little bit. Hopefully it don't blow it out. That actually looked like pretty good penetration as I was welding, so I think we're good. Um, I don't have the best welds, but these are actually turning out a lot better than what I've done in the past. So I also added weld on this side. Again, not not great, but not terrible. This I'm actually really impressed with myself on how. These are, I mean, real welders are going to be like, that's garbage, but I mean, it's, it's way better than what I had done in the past. So, um, I'm actually pretty happy with myself about that. As you can tell though, see this side, how it comes down like that. Check out this side. Not even close. So we got to bend this over this way. Um, I'll wait till these cool off a little bit and then I'm going to put some, uh, I don't know. I think I might have to clean that one weld off down there, but um, put some clamps on it going that way in some way. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Or just hammer it down see if I can bend it. That might be the easier way. Anyway, we'll get back to it. Yeah, see the problem I'm going to run into is that big, big blob of weld there. 
Um, it's going to get in the way when I try and squeeze this together, but or hammer it together. So uh, we'll see. It doesn't need to go far. It kind of needs to come this way a little bit and then this way. And then that might marry back up with the holes that are there that it created previously. So let's give this a shot. Let's see if I can. I know you're kind of far away, but I'll set you up up there as close as I got. also really testing my welds. I don't know if I want to do it on this table or on the table, so I'll do it out there, but anyway. Right we got an anvil. Forgot about getting to it's kind of a B right now. broke that's lined up and that's pretty lined up getting there See, I did a boo-boo. The temps were too high, so I completely blew that out. I don't know why it looks just as thick as the other one, but I did add some to there. So, let's see if we turn the temp down a bit. it down a bit more. I think it might just be because I'm staying on the spot too long, but I'm trying to build up layers, so. I'm gonna try this a different way. So in order to do it this time, what I'm doing is I'm adding, see if I can see, I'm adding, um, weld there on the back and then I'm going to connect them together that way um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't I don't spend as much time on the thinner stuff or whatever that stuff is that's blowing through um, I also turned down the temperature so hopefully that helps I want to do the same thing to this side but I'm a bit cautious so we'll see <laughs> alright well I think I'm going to quit while I still can because those last few welds have been pretty bad. I'll show you. Um, don't judge me. Uh, filling gaps has never been my strong suit. So, uh, yeah. I mean, there's extra holding on there. I don't think I needed to go crazy far anyway with this. This was more of like, this, this actually turned into it was challenging me and um, I was just kind of failing. So... I also hit there, a um, little bit there, same on the other side. This one I might do a little bit real quick, but then over here, this is where it was broken. I added a bunch of extra weld on there and then, you know, tacked them a little bit together. So that's about it. I'm going to hit that one more, that one other spot um, real quick and then uh, kind of don't want to because I'm afraid to blow it out, but I'm gonna hit it anyway. Worst case, I put a different piece of steel on there. But then it's done, and I'll be able to put this chair back together, and I'll show you the results. 
Okay, you'll have to ignore my dirty office because I've been doing a lot of projects. But yeah. so here it is with the starting to add the foam back on. This is what the chair looks like without it, which has sucked to sit in. So yeah, just gonna put all the pieces back together and um and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. There we go. A little dirty for my cat sitting on it, but Otherwise, looks okay. Let's see if we die when we sit on it. Oh no. Oh yeah. Perfect. No more leaning to the side.